Hey everyone, I am TH Pine and welcome to You Must Build a Boat. What is You Must Build a Boat, you ask? I like to call it a real-time naval match 3 game. It's available on Steam and this is what it looks like. So, the goal of the game is to build a boat. In order to do so, you have to gather gold and other resources. And in order to do so, you have to run through dungeons for some reason. Don't ask why, but we're gonna do exactly that. So the dungeon plays out as a match 3 game in real time. So we have to fight monsters by matching wands and swords to get magical and physical damage. So let's do that. I will probably fail hard because talking while playing this game is kind of tough um, To say the least uh, Let's see if we can do it anyway. You can see there are various other symbols which have other uh, different effects uh, For fighting you use the swords and the wands. So now we have to open the chest for that We need keys so we can get that there we go. We found tofu great uh, You can match those chests uh, those crates which can give you items like this um, uh, lightning bolt thingy. I think he's frozen now, uh, stunned now or something. Um, you can match shields. The shield will prevent the enemy from attacking you and pushing you further backward because the game ends as soon as you're leaving the screen to the left. Um, so you want to run as far as you can. Those brains and uh, muscle thingies are actually resources uh, you can use outside of the, of the dungeon. So it's worthwhile to take those with you as well. Uh, I'm just matching stuff. Oh no, there's a trap. Okay, avoided it, good. Uh, the flying thing was a trap and I had to match swords to disarm it. Uh, so that's a thing that happened. Um, done it. Uh, uh, that's not helping, there we go. Did we get a sword now? Let's match some random stuff in the hopes to get something useful here. There we go. Uh, fireball to the face. No, you survived, god damn it. Anyway, uh, defeat the troll, damn bad. Okay, that was one of our quests, uh, defeat the troll. We did not manage to succeed. So we're returning home and uh, take a look at the other mechanics. I uh, will do another run uh, in a moment, but let's talk about the game first. So you got the gold, um, muscles and brain, I'm not sure they have uh, different names, I think, <laughs> in the dungeon, and you get those from some certain quest. This is silver, I think. And you can use that on your boat to spend uh, to spend those resources to improve yourself or or your boat or whatever <laughs> everything uh, so you can go here for example that's uh, I think that's the weaponsmith uh, he allows you to craft better weapons and it costs gold mainly or silver in some cases um, let's do that let's increase our minimum damage maximum damage and critical chance sounds like a good idea uh, I did not spend resources over the last few runs because I was preparing for <laughs> this for the recording of this video so we have a bunch of gold and stuff so we can spend a lot if we want to. So we got a better weapon. Uh, then we have an armor swift smith here who allows us to increase the armor. Let's not do that right now though. It's quite expensive. And uh, magi magician. Um, and she can increase our magical power. Yeah, let's do that. It costs a lot of gold but we can spend our silver wisely or more damage on our magic. For some reason you have to click that stuff and you have to actually click it well, not fast, but you cannot have, you don't have infinite time. Um, not sure why that is in the game, but, well, <laughs> it doesn't hurt, I guess. Uh, so then this is a little bit more interesting. You can train animal, um, monsters, like you ha can catch them in the dungeon and then you can recruit them for your ship. That's for, ex for example, uh, recruit a little dudes. It costs us those resources. And we do that, they spawn on the ship and it will give us a permanent boost, 20% to spell power. And that's my son in the background. Just ignore him. He's fine. Uh, <laughs> and um, then we can go over here. He he allows us. Well, he basically gives us gold. Uh, you found those loot thingies in the dungeon. Like you, yeah, the, the, the tofu. We found the tofu earlier. Um, so we sold that, for example, and we got a bunch of resources for that. So we have another silver. We could actually spend that. Uh, I forgot what the, what this was. Um, oh yeah, you could boost your spells here, right? We could pay stuff to increase the effectiveness, effectivity, active, effective, the power of our spells, whatever. Um, uh, this guy gives us information about stuff, uh, nothing right now though, he, he will talk to us when, uh, yeah, he, he, like, he tells us stuff about monsters and stuff like that and about different effects of the dungeon. Um, I think that's everything. Okay, let's go to those, those dudes again and uh, do another run. Explain you a little bit more mechanics. So you have a danger and a quality meter up here and if you add a quest that will add an effect to the dungeon, increase the danger and the quality meter <coughs> and give you a quest which you can fulfill and if you if you do so you get, res uh, get a reward. Um, so let's do that. We get a misty dungeon with tough monsters. So misty means there will be dust everywhere and you cannot see everything which is a little annoying and tough monsters makes tough monsters 
Who would have figured that? Uh, and our quest are to match for the sword and, and as before defeat a troll. So let's try that again. Let's see if we are more successful there. You can see the dust. And there we go. That was a good start. Uh, let's just... It, it's important to keep matching stuff. Um, if even if you're not fighting anything or something, you want to match stuff. At least threes and uh, three uh, three match combos. Maybe you want to save up your four match combos because they're quite useful. Obviously, because they are more effective. They basically double, I think. At least four keys that they're that they are double. I'm not sure for sword and and uh, magic, but uh, yeah. So you might want to save those, but make sure you match a lot so you get resources and shields up and uh, stuff like that and items from the crates or uh, no that's not working there we go that's good create that thing lightning bolt in the face and uh, that, there we go he's still not th there we go he said but there's another one okay we're probably we're probably dying now I imagine I, I don't see me winning this fight especially when I'm blind oh, that was a nice match uh, anyway, it's probably not enough. I always say it's your win, <laughs> but we did not fulfill any quests, so that's like, um, let's actually go for only one quest so we get some progress. So let's actually only go for the, for the sword tiles. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Oh, it's not any tiles, it's sword tiles. Ha, re read that wrong earlier. So we want to match a lot of swords. Well, that's always a good idea, uh, but now we need keys first. There we go. When the uh, other stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Brains. I wanted the when, not the, the chest or whatever it was. Okay, uh, sorry, I'm not talking because I'm trying to focus. Uh, this uh, this will give us energy, it will pr uh, move us a little bit, like it will heal us basically, uh, it moves us to the right of the screen. Talking while playing this game is a mess, <laughs> really. It's hard to make a proper sentence. Anyway, it's going okay so far, I think. I'm not sure if we got 40 sword tiles already. That was a double sword tile, that's always good. Should have probably saved that four key. Ah, anyway, we're not in a fight anyway, so it's fine. Um, we did not run into a monster, uh, in a, into a chest. We ran into a monster, so we did not need the four match key thingy. Uh, no, there we go. Another enemy. Um, sword. Our, our. God damn it! There we go. Uh, it's actually, if you're quick enough, you can move the tiles while they're still falling. You don't have to wait for them to fall down. Okay, we got to the next part of the dungeon. Uh, this will change stuff around. Uh, the dungeon is frozen now, whatever that means. I have no clue. Oh, that's a chest. I should not have used my spell on that. That was dumb. We found a helmet. Great. Uh, that's a monster. Let's use a tomato or apple or whatever it is. Um, there we go. The swords and the wands. Oh, nice. Oh, no, I wanted that five match. There we go. You could see that there. I could move stuff while it was still falling. Uh, you can use that to your advantage if you're quick enough. Oh, wow. Nice five match swords. That's always nice. Um, double wand. Good. But I'm running out of options. Well, probably not. I'm probably just blind, to be honest. But it feels like I'm running out of options because I don't see the options. Okay, that's a special horn. It will. I'm not sure what triggers it, but it will give me some time. So it, it saves your butt from time to time. You find it in one of the earlier dungeons. I'm not sure if I did defeat the troll already. Oh wait, that, I, that was not my goal anyway. Yeah, match for, for the sword tiles. So now we can collect rewards. Uh, collecting rewards is always some of those mini games. I'm not sure why. Why do I have to do this? <laughs> There's no point. But we get gold and one silver from those chests regular normally. Uh, you can get other stuff as well. Um, so it, I'm not sure. Can we see the map from here? Uh, no, we can't. Um, anyway, uh, basically, if you progress enough, I'm not sure. Quite not quite sure what you have, but. 
But I think it's a certain quest. So, so you, if I go here, I get new quests now because I completed that quest. Um, still that one. Plan the two open four chests. I think, yeah, I think this quest will give us a new crew member and will probably allow us to, to, um, uh, to, what's the word? <laughs> to go to the next zone. Um, so there's a, there's a map. Let's actually try to get that and just demonstrate it. So open four chests, that should be possible. Basically, uh, there's prog there's a progression um, besides your upgrades and stuff. Oh no, I wanted that five crate thingy. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a Doom boom boom. That worked. That worked quite well. Let's see if we can manage to do so. So um, if I like this is uh, maybe you uh, this is actually interesting because this game was um, g gave me a big flashback because it's the successor to the game called Ten Millions, which works kind of similar. Uh, you were in a dungeon, um, basically, and you had to, you've, I think you had to earn 10 million gold, if I remember correctly, and you did so by doing runs, uh, which worked exactly like this, basically. Um, but, like, so basically the themes changed and the meta game changed, uh, like, the, the mechanics surrounding the match 3. But the match 3 is basically, the core gameplay is exactly the same as in 10 millions. And, um... So 10 millions was one of the first videos I made on this YouTube channel was about 10 millions and, and it was actually the first one which got more like 10 views or so um, because it somehow ended up on a good search rank on YouTube. God damn it, I don't think we got four chests. Let's do it again. <laughs> Let's do it again! I want to do the... Oh, well, that was completely pointless. But <laughs> I wanted to get the five match. <laughs> there was no reason to do so. Um, there we go. No, sort match. There we go. Doop, 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 doop. Defeat the beetle. I hope we get chests. Uh, that's a chest. There's another chest right behind it. Uh, um, I don't have keys in in a way I could use them though. God damn it, Pyan! Get your shit together. Can we get another key? Maybe at a better spot. It probably is possible to match those already and I'm just missing it, but... That's the nature of those games, especially when... What the fuck?! Especially when you're talking while you're playing. Okay, this is game over because I'm blind. What am I missing? Let's do random stuff. No. Doesn't work. There. No. No. Ah. Nah. Ah. It's not helping, though. There. <laughs> Stupid me! Ah, oh, goddammit. Let's see if, if we can beat that. So yeah, the game actually um, got some nostalgia going in me. Uh, is that a sentence? Probably not. Anyway. If I have to compare it to 10 Millions though, it's it's a little bit more, like it has more mechanics and stuff. But I think that the, actually the, f I think, I think I enjoyed 10 Millions more. The main reason is that the progression in this game feels very weird because you like you don't get the feeling why you are progressing not really at least uh, like you don't get the feeling did you oh, if you did well or not at the end of the dungeon you just get like success or no success by completing your quests obviously which is an indicator for if you did good for uh, you're doing good or not obviously but I don't know it's there's there's really like there's a lack of feedback because the progression feels very random um, because like there will be a quest and it will will trigger something and then will progress you in the game, um, which is a little weird. We're failing again. What the heck? <laughs> this is bad. This is really bad. Playing like an idiot. No, let's not match that. Let's burn him. There we go. Chest. Oh, is it? Is it? It's a golden block. Does this mean we need? Oh, god damn it! That means we need four match. I think. Uh, there we go. Let's see if we avoid fa complete. Uh, avoid failing completely this time. Why did I use that? That was stupid as fuck. <laughs> oh man. That should get rid of that red. There we go. Okay. Succeed. 
getting to the next level. It's kind of hard to explain what I mean with the progression the, the, the lacks feedback, but I, it, it, it just, I don't know, it feels so random when you, like, I had no idea why I was progressing only, I, then I figured out that it's related to the quest somehow, but still, it, it's not, like, it's not getting a certain number of points or anything, it's just, okay, it will progress at some point when we, when you find the right quest. Why I'm not dealing damage to that thing? It's probably immune to physic or something, or magic, what did I use? Okay, we got rid of it. Okay, let's get that chest and hope that it was a fourth. It probably was not. There's another one though. So we'll probably find I think we got four chests. Might be three though, I'm not sure. Disarm the trap and deal damage to the thing. And damn it, missed the four match there. Uh doop, doop, doop. there we go. That was good though. Another Okay, let me get that chest just to make sure we're... Fuck. Um, there we go! Okay, got the chest. So that was that was four for sure. It might be in, might be five. I don't know. But we got we got it, so that's good. Oh, cool. We got... Okay, we're getting pretty far this time. Probably failing in a moment. That's fine, though. Because we got what we wanted. There we go. Um, so, let's see. What we get. Probably, yeah. New crew member. An old man, apparently. I only sell the finest, rarest artifacts. Okay. Come to Hornsby if you are interested. But it won't be cheap. Well, fine. Okay, let's see. What he sells. And I think then we progress the boat. You must build a boat. <laughs> Sherp. Oh no, it didn't allow us to progress yet. Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay, anyway, let's take a look at what he does over there. Um, you, you, we could have progress if there would be an exclamation mark about there above those guys. Mm -hmm. Pre, pre warmer. The bot can start with matches already present. Interesting. Allows three quests to be added to a dungeon. Oh, cool. Let's take that. It's pretty good. Let's take that as well. Anyway, oh, he sells more stuff now. 50% 50, 50 more damage from the hammer horn, which is the thing that saved me earlier. And with three times multiplayer tiles. Oh, that's cool as well. I want that. For those with big boats, what? <laughs> anyway. Um... So, yeah, I don't know. It, it's kind of fun. Uh, there is some people, or uh, especially uh, Total Biscuit, um, criticize the game for being able, like you can randomly swipe the tiles if you want to without matching anything, and because there is no penalty if you make a mismatch. But the tiles will swap back So if, if you don't find a match. So uh, yeah, you can do that, but I, I actually don't think it's an effective way of playing. Like, it depends, obviously. If you're really bad at finding matches, then just randomly swiping them is probably better than n not doing anything at all. But actually, if you're looking for good matches, then that's way more effective than just randomly swiping them. So I think the criticism makes sense, but it's actually not that big of a deal most of the time. Uh, and you can just not do it. You can just decide to not swipe it and uh, randomly and just only swipe if you actually find a match. So I think it's not a big deal. Um, it's not game-breaking, in my opinion. But I can see why it annoys some people that it's possible. So, yeah, uh, let's take a look at the option menu and then wrap up the video. It's taking way too long for such a small game, but I wanted to so comp uh, I wanted to progress and we did actually not progress anyway because uh, like a progress. I, I wanted to tell you that because we did not got to see it now. Uh, basically, the idea is that. Uh, you have to jump with all people to move the boat forward so all, all people on the boat will jump at the same time and the monsters and stuff and <laughs> that will progress the, bo the boat to the next area so that's the idea that's why you need more crew members it's it's ridiculous boy anyway so um let's go blah, 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 video options so okay so we have resolution option window full screen no borderless window but well uh we think shared effects particle account i think that's fine for a 2t 2d 2d game totally fine we get separate sound sliders so the option menu is nothing crazy but nothing missing either. You don't need rebindable keys because it's most controlled. Um, it's okay. 
So yeah, it's a fun little game. Uh, I, I still think 10 million is the better game, but if you play 10 million already and completed it and, and uh, liked it, then you might want to take a look at this. Uh, it has a, this, The theme is, is more, well, I won't say, not say cool, but the theme is more crazy uh, and more ridiculous. 10 million was kind of ridiculous already, but this is more crazy. Like, you must build a boat. What? Why do I have to run into dungeons for that? And why do I summon monsters on the boat? Uh, which give me random bonuses and I don't know <laughs> it's a it's a little crazy a little silly uh, anyway so this is you miss build about uh, it's available on steam link to the steam page is in the description below thanks a lot for watching have fun and see you next time